So just an oil change and I want to go ahead and rotate my tires as well and figured it'd be a perfect time to review this tire that I recently got. These are the Hankook Ventus V2 Concept 2s. Uh, specific size would be 225-45R17. These have been a great tire so far. I've had them for about 5,000 miles and previously had uh, Continental tires. So what's great about these is they're more of a performance budget tire. I commute about 50 miles a day and wanted something that you know could handle pretty well on the highways but also wasn't too expensive. So you have this, this center strip here is more for stability, has good rain reduction just through the, um, or it gets the water, escapes the water away from the center of the tire. And then this bead right here, as you can see this bead right here, um, that they state is for noise reduction. So when you're going down the highway, you don't get the drone that you normally would get. And also, I'm sure they do this on other tires as well, but there's these little uh, little markings. And that's to tell if your tires are wearing unevenly. There's one, some right here as well. So again, 5,000 miles with these tires. Um, I'm about to rotate them. BMW doesn't really suggest rotating tires in general, but I'm going to because the last set of pair or the last set of tires I had, they were Continentals, they were great tires, but they wore pretty uh, prematurely because the fronts wore out on the sides and then the back, um, as what is common with BMW is the back tires wore on the inside. And because I never rotated the tires, um, it, they just, they wore out prematurely. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate these. Um, it's the same size front and back. I'm just gonna go ahead and break these um, lug bolts loose. I have e-brake on, the tires are chalked in the back. Both, uh, I have a front chalk and a back, or a back chalk and a front chalk. Um, I don't have a BMW specific uh, jack pad or whatever they call it. I just use a piece of wood and it works just fine. Uh, next, once I jack the car up, I'm going to take it off with this. This is a Ro Ryobi Impact uh, drill or gun, whatever. This has been phenomenal. I don't have uh, air tools, so this has just been great to, you know, you plug it in if you need a little bit of torque. It helps significantly in so many different ways. You have three power settings. Three is the most. I'm gonna do it on three. I don't know if this is standard with BMW lug nuts, but um, I got rid of the keys because I kept losing the key, even though I'd specifically say that in a certain area, I'd always end up losing it. So I ended up just ordering some new ones. Makes it a lot easier. So one thing I'll mention is that when I got the new tires, I noticed some vibration right away that I didn't have before. And I think that's because the old tires were worn out so bad, they weren't translating any suspension worn components, any vibration I would get from that um, into the car. So I went ahead and replaced this control arm. It's very simple. This just comes out, this loosens up. There's one bolt that goes back here, slid that out and then this on this side connects into a ball joint. That was a pain. I used everything to get that out. Ended up taking it to a specialist. Um, it didn't need to go to a specialist, but that guy just had the tools necessary to remove the ball joint from the hub. Okay, so I've got the back tire on here now, and then here's my front tire. Um, I will say that if you do drive a BMW and I guess for any car, just make sure to check your tire pressures on the sticker on your door. Uh, my fronts are supposed to be 32 PSI and my back tires are supposed to be 36 PSI. I went probably a year and a half having a BMW without even paying attention to that. And I just went off the default of 32 PSI all around. I've had several cars in the past where they all just required 32 PSI regardless. And I just went with that thinking and I think that's part of the reason why my rear tires wore out prematurely. 
um, just because I always had them underinflated. And so um, a word to the wise is just make sure to check your readings, whatever your car may be, and especially in a BMW. I know it's very common to have the rear tires have an increased pressure over what the front tires are. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting these bolts in now. So that wraps up our quick review of the Hankook Ventus V2 Concept 2 tires. Uh, hopefully this gives you a little insight if you guys are looking into uh, the tire for yourselves. Like I said, it's been great so far. So thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you on the next video.